Fellas, in front of you, I have a pulse rifle. Shout out to Smack for getting it for us. This is the curated version, also known as exotically rolled legendaries. We're gonna go over this roll as well as what I would deem to be the god roll. And of course decide, is this pulse rifle even worth going after? It is the Nightfall exclusive reward this week for the Corrupted Strike. So a lot of associations have been made between Horror's Lease and Grasp of Malak. That was a pulse rifle back in Destiny 1 and was like the main competitor against Clever Dragon. Clever Dragon just one-upped it by just one perk and it was essentially because it could roll with high cal rounds. Like that was it. Outside of that, I very much liked my god roll grasp. Now as you know with Iron Banner last week, they brought us another 540 round per minute pulse called Claws of the Wolf. I will be directly comparing this weapon today to that one as I got to play with essentially what we called last week Clever Dragon 2.0. It was a very nasty rolled pulse rifle. But let's talk about Horus. What's happening on this one today? Now again guys, this is the curated version. Intrinsically, it's a rapid fire frame pulse. It comes with hammer forge rifling, extended mag, zen moment, and outlaw. And already fully masterwork is a plus 10 stability mod. Now I am rocking a counterbalance mod because that recoil direction is only at 55. So you need it, fellas. I mean, it jumps a bunch. Now, is the curated version a worthy roll to go after? I think it was an okay PvE weapon. But see, that's the thing. Rapid fire pulse rifles. I just don't bring many rapid fire pulses into PvE. Like ever. But this thing does have a mag size of 45. And outlaw. And so you can sit there and chew through opponent after opponent easily, staying in the mid range and staying safe, and proc that outlaw on that final kill to get the fast reload. So the perks are designed here to be more of a pve role now as far as pvp goes let's talk about the roles i would go for it's hard to say arrowhead break on this weapon that's normally what we always say right when we talk about barrel perks we always say arrowhead break in regard to pulse rifles i'm under the impression that recoil direction is so low on these pulse rifles that even with something like arrowhead break it still wouldn't be vertical so if that is the case fluted barrel or small board those are like the two options i would go for now as far as those magazine perks man i, I feel like i'm just so basic here guys i say the same thing every time ricochet rounds they're just too good they're great for stability great for range got a secondary bump to range so yeah ricochet rounds all day long as far as the traits we actually have a couple of options if i was to rock something like ophidian aspects and use this pulse rifle to where i know my handling speed is very quick as well as my ads time i am very tempted to try range finder and moving targets together now the reason why i say ads time that will be the thing that's working against you the most this weapon handles very slowly you can counter this with the Things like dexterity perks on your armor pieces or you can possibly rock the weapon mod freehand grip that would alleviate some of that slow ready time but i mentioned range finder and moving target because i specifically like that on rapid fire scout rifles something like black scorpion it's a nasty combination to rock together you're taking advantage of both perks while aiming down sights both in range and target acquisition so to me it's a very nasty perk set to combine together but the biggest detriment to that is how quickly you can actually aim down sights so in this situation a dexterity perk is a must now the other set of perks Similar to something like Claws last week for me, I would give Full Auto a shake. Now, Full Auto worked last week on Claws, but that was because that was a really good roll with a great bump and stability, and so it can handle that recoil. Given the fact though here that Horus Lease actually has better base stats in terms of stability than Claws, I think it can manage Full Auto easily. The second trait I would probably choose in that final column would not be Kill Clip. Those two are actually in the same column on this pulse rifle, and so it's not possible to pair the two. But the reload speed for this weapon is very poor, so I probably would use something like Outlaw. Now, as far as masterwork goes, obviously stability would be in your best interest. I will say that could probably be interchangeable with handling if the weapon rolled with rangefinder and moving target. But if it rolls with something like fluted barrel, that one perk will counter that slow handling speed. So we've talked perks. Is something like Horus Lease a Grasp 2.0? Because that's the association everyone's making about this pulse rifle. It's like, wait a minute, last week we've had Clever Dragon 2.0 dropped on us. Is this Grasp 2.0? Well, yeah, you can make those comparisons. And I would say that Grasp was just as good as Clever outside of one perk, which was high cow rounds. So can Horus Lease compete against Claws? I think it can. 
The only thing working against it that I could tell of today was the scope. To me, the scope on Claus is really easy to line up crit shots over and over again. Whereas at times, this hologram site or, or whatever the site is supposed to be here on Har's lease, it can really jump away from you. And so it's a little harder to manage. Now, it could be due to the fact that I didn't have things like ricochet rounds on this one. And so I didn't have all these barrel perks and magazine perks aiding its stability. And that's not to say that Har's doesn't have its own set of pros. That side has a more open field of view, which some people might be a bigger fan of. So overall guys, when deciding which 540 pulse rifle is the best, I think it's completely open. I think Hard's Lease definitely has the opportunity here to be a better pulse rifle than something like Claws. But man, it's really gonna come down to those rolls. Cause just like in Destiny 1, if your rapid fire pulse was not God roll, then there will be a moment it will fail you. It may not happen every time, but there'll be that one time that you tie up, maybe with another pulse rifle because i knew it whenever i was rocking grasp i loved it it was my favorite i didn't even want to give clever dragon a try i was like hey man i've got a good roll pulse i don't need another one and then i got out dueled again and again and again now that situation was different than this one because the perk combinations here are staggered differently so when deciding what is the best pulse rifle in this rapid fire category it's fair game boys it's all about whatever roll you can get so fellas if you happen to land the roll that i'm talking about which essentially is grasp of unlock 2.0 let me know i don't think anybody's got it i've actually been hitting up a lot of people on twitter and in my discord i don't think anyone's got the role that i'm talking about and that's all right that's what makes the grind fun if somebody's got this role though i'm gonna lose my shit well guys thank you all for coming and watching and as always slap that like button like your mama told you right